Hello, everyone. My name is Amanda Mercer. I'm the um, Operations Director uh, for Recruitment as well as Orthopedics and Physical Medicine and Re Rehabilitation here at Long Street Clinic. Joining me today, we have three of our PM&R uh, physicians, Dr. Holmes Marchman, Dr. Britta Oshry, and Dr. Suk Yoon. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Um, we are going to talk about the ABCs of PM&R. So I know a lot of our followers are not familiar with exactly what PM&R is. So we wanted to take the time today to answer some questions um, about your team and the services that you um, you share and can do for um, for all of our, for everyone in our community. Um, you guys are awesome, first of all, and thank you so much for taking this time out of your day to do this. Well, first of all, will you just share some details about yourself, your education, your background, um, what you like to do when you're away from the office? I'm gonna go first, Dr. Marchman. Well, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I've been here a long time, 27 years. So uh, uh, it doesn't seem like it though. So um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia and uh, a native of Atlanta. I'm very glad I don't live there. Glad I'm a, a resident of Paul County. Uh, would not change that. Um, things that I enjoy doing um, is uh, chasing my family around, have older kids and they're all around the Southeast. It's fun to uh, visit up with them. Uh, with with my wife. Um, as far as my uh, education goes, um, I did my undergraduate work at Rhodes College in Memphis and my um, uh, med school in Augusta, Georgia, at the Medical College of Georgia. And residency I did up in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, University of Louisville in physical medicine and rehabilitation. And then moved uh, here. This has been my one and only job since uh, finishing my training. So I've been here since 1993, which sounds like a long time ago. Look, it was. <laughs> awesome. Dr. Oshry, can you tell us about yourself? Sure, yeah. So um, I'm originally from Germany. Um, I came to the States for my training. Um, I completed my undergraduate in bioengineering at Cornell University went on to Michigan State um, to do my medical degree. And then I moved on to Atlanta um, to do my residency in physical medicine and rehabilitation down in Atlanta. Um, I joined Dr. Marchman actually exactly today, a year ago, our anniversary 9919 is today. <laughs> it's been a year that I came to join a practice as a general physiatrist, kind of seeing patients both on the inpatient and outpatient setting. Um, my particular interest um, is actually neuro rehab, kind of um, playing a role, a unique role along the whole spectrum of patients' care. Um, starting out in the ICU, I helped the Northeast Georgia Medical Center, the trauma services, the trauma and acute care teams, and seeing patients early on, um, very early on in their recovery, um, after a stroke, spinal cord injury, brain injury, and then following them through their recovery into kind of the rehabilitation. Um, my goal overall is to kind of continue building this post-acute care um, resources, both on the hospital side, but also on an outpatient setting here in the clinic and um, helping them reintegrate into the community. And what I love to do outside of work, um, I just love spending time outside, exploring new spots here in the state and across the state and different countries, just seeing where I can have a peace of mind. Yeah. I guess I'm the last one to go. <laughs> so hi everyone, I'm Dr. Yoon. Um, so I orig originally came from South Korea, but I grew up in Georgia and I would like to consider myself a Georgia girl. And I went to UGA for undergrad, I uh, went to MCG for four years of med school, and I went to four years of um, PM&R residency at Emory University, and I served as a chief resident there. And then I moved on to uh, the pain world and went to UW-Madison, um, Wisconsin for a uh, pain management fellowship. I'm excited to be back in um, Georgia. It's much warmer here. <laughs> um, and uh, excited to serve the Gainesville community. 
my focus obviously is my interventional pain uh, management, but also I am very excited to provide uh, regenerative medicine uh, options to our patients. Um, what I like to do outside of work is hiking, um, spending time with my family. Um, I have a dog and so we, um, we like to play with him, so. Awesome, thank you guys so much. All right, Dr. Marchman, we'll start with you. The burning question, what, uh, what exactly is PM&R? Just plain and simple. A lot of our folks don't know uh, this hidden, hidden gem we have in the medical community. Well, the PM&R stands for Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. And physicians who um, uh, practice this, they're, they've been trained to be specialists in management of uh, conditions of, of um, injuries or um, illnesses or uh, disabilities that uh, affect the brain, the spinal cord, um, affect the muscles, the bones, joints, ligaments, and tendons. And we are trained to be um, experts at coming up with a comprehensive treatment plan that is geared toward our patient to help them to meet their, their goals. Um, and we see a, a whole wide range of, of, of medical issues and, and problems, which we'll talk about more uh, today, but um, it ranges from managing folks who've had a stroke uh, to spinal cord injury, to weekend warriors who've injured their shoulder, or their, their ankle, their knee, or their hip, to uh, amputees who've uh, had a traumatic, uh, traumatic amputation or um, amputation related to, say, a uh, diabetic foot, uh, foot, foot, foot ulcer. Um, and then we see um, uh, folks who have pain issues. Uh, there's just a whole wide range, and I'm just got the tip of the iceberg. You'll know, hear more from from the rest of the crowd here. But um, we can we help a, a very wide, diverse uh, population of patients. That's great. So, how do you foresee the addition of Dr. Yoon and her expertise um, impacting the practice? Uh, she's going to make a uh, make a huge difference and. First of all, let me say that um, Doc, Dr. Oshry and I are general physician, uh, general practitioners in, in the specialty of physical medicine rehabilitation. That is, we take care of a whole range of patients, the ones I, I mentioned. Whereas um, Dr. Yoon, she has done a fellowship in interventional pain management. And that's a big old fancy word for uh, what physicians do with uh, procedures such as injections to help uh, help manage pain, and she um, she's going to be a huge asset because um, our goal is to have a comprehensive muscle skeletal center here at the Long Street Clinic, and that's going to involve uh, physicians from neuro, uh, neuro, surgery physicians, our our orthopedists physical medicine and Dr. Yoon pain management. So we're gonna congregate and practice in the same space. We're in the process of, um, of finishing that space out. It won't be done for at least four or six months, I would think, but it'll be, um, we'll have a, uh, all those disciplines together who can support one another um, and um, uh, manage patients who have these um, pain issues or have had surgical issues and have resulting pain or um, have functional issues and pain. And doc, Dr. Yu is gonna be very helpful in managing those patients for, uh, for us. Great. Dr. Yu, we are so excited that you're joining the Longstreet family. Um, Thank at you. What, at what point should someone seek medical advice instead of trying to manage their own pain? So that's a difficult question to ask, to kind of generalize everyone because everyone's a little bit different and it depends on what kind of injury or insult they sustained in their body. But um, in general, I would say if your pain issue has been uh, lasting longer than your expected tissue healing, typically it's about a month or two months. And if you're still having an issue and if you're not getting better, 
start talking to your physicians about possibly, you know, possible options to treat that and possibly coming to see me. Um, typically, one of the things that I see the most is that patients have not seen a pain physician for a problem they had for years, and they're just limited amount of um, uh, interventions and things that we can do when it's become a, such a huge chronic issue that's been going on for 10, 20 years. So I would say I would, I would um, advise patients to seek help earlier than they, um, they would otherwise. And so what are some of your strategies for, um, for helping patients um, get rid of some of their pain? like different techniques and options you, you can offer patients? Yeah, um, I mean, I have the whole, you know, fancy needle techniques and here and there and the, you know, different um, devices that I use like neurostimulator, peripheral stimulator and uh, spinal cord stimulator as well as some regenerative options like PRP, stem cell and um, lipogen. But honestly, the, my biggest focus when treating my patient is empowering my patients with knowledge. Um, fear is a huge component of pain and also suffering. Uh, fear of unknown, like why you're having pain or, or how, um, how did this pain come about? Um, how can you treat the pain or how do you even prevent the pain? I think the information is a huge key in, um, in, in uh, managing your pain. So, you know, I love building a good partnership between the uh, patient and me and uh, really explore all the options out there um, to um, help managing the pain. Awesome. So now that our, our, our folks know a little bit more about what you do and how you, how you can help manage and treat the pain, um, What's the easiest way to make an appointment with you? Do they need a referral? Like, what? Well, how do we how do we get patients in here? Um, so, talk to your doctor or call us because it, it sometimes it depends on insurance. Sometimes it's something that the your primary care doctors or um, some other general practitioners can help you with or help the patients with the issues. Um, I think it's good to talk to um, the physicians. Or call us, and just we can we can always help you to um, sort that out. Perfect. Um, and Doctor Yoon, since you're our newest newest member of the Longstreet Clinic family, what are you looking most forward to um, joining here? Um, I'm thrilled to be a part of Longstreet family. I'm excited to work with Doctor Marchman and Doctor Otri. Um, Dr. Otri and I, we actually went to residency together. So this is kind of a dream come true. We will always wanted to kind of work with each other. So this will be a great um, opportunity to do that. And um, love to um, create a clinic based on my belief and um, my training. And I think, I think it'll be a fun year. Yeah. Well, you've, you've already been a joy to work with. We're, we're so excited to have you. Thank okay, you. Okay, moving along to Dr. Oshri. Uh, when should a patient see you um, or someone on your team versus an orthopedic surgeon or physical therapist? Yeah, that's a good question. I think there's a lot of miscommunication and understanding about what a physiatrist does and an orthopedic surgeon. Um, probably the first key component is that both of us kind of treat a similar injury involving any bones, like Dr. Martin said, bones, muscles, joints, kind of that musculoskeletal system. Um, physiatrists focus a little bit more on the non-surgical treatment options, whereas an orthopedic surgeon obviously has more um, expertise and additional training and procedure proceeding on with surgeries if indicated. Um, so a physiatrist likes to find out what the underlying cause of the pain is, see how we can improve function, um, reduce kind of overall pain and um, through a rehabilitation course with medications, maybe injections um, and just lifestyle changes overall. Um, treatment options just vary depending on what the problem is that um, you're presenting with or what kind of trauma you've had. 
what disease process is affecting the patient. Um, but in often kind, uh, often of the cases we prefer to do orthopedic surgeons um, if it seems like the best next step to do or just the ultimate final option to consider. Um, physical therapist is um, a key, key, key component of the whole team. We're not physical therapists, we're physiatrists, we're the physician component, but um, physical therapists um, work with the whole team, with pain management, with orthopedic surgeons, um, and with the physiatry team in coming up with a good care plan for the patients. Um, may that be before surgery, before an injection, um, or even after that. So um, here in the Long Street Clinic, we have a nice spot where we all work under one roof. So that's um, a very unique opportunity to communicate um, between the different providers and have a smooth transition of care. So that's awesome. Yes. Um, can you talk a little bit about pain that's not related to an injury? I know you um, help patients daily with chronic migraine headaches. Sure, yeah. Um, it's a little... Um, a lot of the patients out in the community, actually 2% of the general population do suffer from chronic migraines. Um, and um, there's actually a whole definition about what a chronic migraine is considered. It's more than 15 or more headache days a month that patients experience with a headache lasting at least four hours. And eight of those out of those 15 are then considered true migraine headaches. Um, daily options for those patients fall into the categories of either using preventive medications um, to prevent or reduce our frequency or a severity of migraine attacks um, versus abortive medications that help you during an actual episode of a migraine attack. Botox is something I do here in the clinic and offer to patients as an alternative treatment modality for preventive care. Um, it's a procedure that's administered every 12 weeks um, following a very well-known guidance um, to help patients um, in the migraine prevention if they've experienced either intolerable side effects of the medications or have noticed more ineffectiveness with the medications that I have so far been using. So anyone could be a candidate for that and um, definitely something to consider if they're suffering from a lot of migraine headaches. Definitely. Um, how can, how can um, seeking treatment for PM&R issues affect someone's quality of life overall? Yeah, I know that's a general question, but it, it's so important. Yeah, obviously it's kind of a down, downward spiral, right? If you don't address the pain that is you know, at hand, you're delaying seeking treatments, you're causing other joints, adjacent joints or um, injuries in your body and um, kind of start the whole compensatory strategy and just prolonging treatments. Seeking treatment tells me that you probably will end up having a prolonged recovery, more injuries, and in the future are definitely at risk of more injuries. So we're all here to help. Um, there are different specialties, different needs, and physiatry is a wonderful um, kind of link in the community to help guide treatment where, we, where you need to go um, to have kind of your pain addressed. So shouldn't be a fear of coming to the doctor. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we have not, this is probably the longest we've gone without um, speaking about COVID. Um, and I know it's been a huge, um, it's been a huge part of your, your practice lately. And I know y'all have adapted extremely well and we've taken um, major precautions, but how have you adjusted your protocols to keep patients safe during this pandemic? Yeah, so throughout the pandemic, um, it's been an ongoing keeping, staying up to date with the latest CDC guidelines, um, adapting on a daily basis with um, new regulations, new changes. Um, we have number one offered um, tele telemedicine visits for all patients if they're interested in that, and we currently still do um, if patients are just concerned or want to have an initial consultation and conversation um, or follow-up visits and not leave their home. For those patients that are actually coming to the office, um, we we do um, kind of do our regular screens right up on front, screening for temperatures, screening for fevers, any symptoms of infection or other kind of things that are going on before even entering our facility. Um, we only allow one visitor um, for minor, like patients who are minors or patients who have significant cognitive or physical deficits. Um, wheelchair bound, a lot of our stroke patients need some assistance, for instance. 
um, face coverings are guaranteed must as soon as you enter to be kept on throughout your visit, both in the waiting room and in the office, um, in the office um, room itself. Um, we do social distancing measures throughout the waiting room, six feet kind of apart. We have plexiglass um, for the check-in ladies. Um, our gym is open for um, our patients to come and to do their therapy program. We usually have about two of the therapists on board, maximum of maybe four patients in the gym, having, again, equipment cleaned between every patient, tables spaced out, um, and they go through the same screens upon entering before their sessions. And um, of course, yeah, everywhere cleaning between patients and just doing safe hand hygiene. So. Thank you. I think those are um, important details to share with, with everyone uh, during this time. Uh, Dr. Marchman and Dr. Yoon and Dr. Oshri, do you guys have anything else you'd like to share with everyone um, today? Yeah, I would. Uh, those folks who are out there um, who have uh, muscle skeletal issues, uh, can't, uh, can't get around the way you used to, that, uh, that sporting event that you used to play, um, not 20,000 years ago, but a couple months ago, and now it's, now it's more comfortable. Um, and as you heard earlier, if you have a, an issue with a, a joint or a muscle, um, uh, that is uh, is lingering, uh, come see us because um, that's what we do. We take care of folks who um, who can't get can't do exactly what they want to do, whether it's uh, um, an elderly person who can't uh, walk as well, it balances off, um, having more frequent falls, or the high school or soccer player who sustains a concussion. Um, um, so all those folks in between, you know, y'all, and, and if in doubt, you call us and. Come see us, and if we, and uh, as you heard earlier, we we know where someone needs to, to go, what specialty they need to see if we're not able to address their need. I think right. the Thank last you so much, thing. Dr. Oh, good. Sorry about that. Uh, last thing I wanted to share was that you know, PMNR is really a huge um it's it's a it's a specialty of function and quality of life and it we really work with the patients i think that's one of the things that i enjoy the most about physiatry is that we we are uh, a huge consultant role and we we coach them into you know how to be more functional and how to have a better quality of life and, you know, we have different measures and uh, methods of doing it, but I think that's one of the most fun part of being a physiatrist. And so come and see us, be a part of the team and, um, you know, be, uh, be able to, you know, uh, manage your own pain, manage your own um, with disabilities, whatever have you, so. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Marchman, Dr. Oshri and Dr. Yoon. You three are truly a valuable part of our community, um, our medical community, and um, we certainly, um, certainly can't can't help patients get better without you. Um, and our followers, thank you so very much for listening in. If you have any additional questions about our PM and our team, uh, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Uh, visit our website. Our, our phone number is seven seven zero. 536-6300. Um, but please also, please like us, comment, share this video, um, and don't forget to keep wearing your masks and social distancing. We want to see you in the clinic, but safely. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.